Welcome back to Top 4 Repairs. If you recently replaced your intake manifold gasket and it's still leaking, I'm going to tell you guys what went wrong. The reason why your intake manifold gasket is still leaking after replacement is because the mating surface is not flat enough. For example, there could be a buildup of corrosion if coolant is flowing through the intake manifold gasket. The old gasket material may still be on it and you need to scrape it with a razor blade or there could be a buildup of dirt on it and you need to wipe it away. My preferred method of removing old gasket material is using a razor blade. Usually I stick with what works best. The next reason why your intake manifold gasket is still leaking after replacement is due to misalignment. Some intake manifold gasket comes with an alignment pin, for example. This one came with an alignment pin. That's one pin right there. And that's another pin right there. So that pin is going to go straight into this hole right here and right there. So make sure the intake manifold gasket goes straight into the alignment pin and the intake manifold gasket should not move out of place. The next reason why your intake manifold gasket is still leaking after replacement is because you're applying way too much silicone on the intake manifold gasket. In fact, if you properly install the intake manifold gasket and it's properly aligned, there is no reason to use silicone on it. The only area that I would use silicone is the area where coolant is flowing through the intake manifold gasket. The next reason why your intake manifold gasket is still leaking after replacement is because maybe the intake bolts are rusted or it's full of material on it. So if it's rusted or it has a lot of material on it, make sure you use a wire brush and clean up the intake manifold bolts. The next reason why your intake manifold gasket is still leaking after replacement is because maybe an engine wire or evap line or maybe even a piece of small rock got caught between the intake manifold and the cylinder head. So check the mating surface. If it seems like it's a little bit higher than usual like this and you're trying to install it, then most likely that's causing the intake manifold gasket to leak. The next reason why your intake manifold gasket is still leaking after replacement is because you did not torque the intake bolts. So make sure you get the correct spec for your vehicle. To tighten the intake manifold intake bolts, we're going to tighten it to 18 foot pound. So you always start at the center, going to start pattern. So we're going to tighten it to 18 foot pound at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, and nine. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And lastly, if you don't know how to use a torque wrench, I do have a video on it. Just use the search feature. I hope you found this useful. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.